What's happening? Chris Logan, Creative Flavor Skatering. What's going on? Hey, uh, today I'm going to cook a little bit of a, a Cabrilla. Uh, it's a grouper. Actually, it's in the bass family. It's a uh, line caught, uh, local, sustainable, great fat content. You look at this bad boy over here. Look at those gills. It's a. Uh, if you ever see a whole fish and you want to know how a fish is fresh, what you want to do is you want to check out the gills and you want to make sure the eyes are clear. All right. Uh, basically, the gills are moist or wet, and uh, the eyes are clear. You got good chance this has probably been out of the water only about a day. Fantastic. What we're going to do is uh, you've got the before. This is the after fillet. What I've done is that I've made a little V section and taken out the uh, the rib cage bones here. And what I'm going to do is just slice this up. I'm going to leave the skin on. And the reason I cut this on a bias like so is because one, we're using a saute pan. Two, for portion sizes, if uh, you want cooking time to be the same, if you cook things on a bias instead of straight down, now you have the same thickness, same cooking time. In our pan, we're going to use a little bit of a uh, combination of canola oil and uh, a light uh, olive oil. The reason for that is because I want this to get hot. I want the, uh, the skin to kind of crisp up. I'm going to season this with a little bit of Hawaiian sea salt. Ah, yeah, yeah. My preference. Cracked black pepper. Always into a hot pan. And I bought uh, new pans last week, so I'm still getting used to it, a little bit thicker. Uh, the reason I use uh, Teflon pans is because when doing cooking demos, I don't have time to uh, wash my pans. So all I do is I just, uh, actually, I use a wet towel, clean them out, and then go again. Fat content in this fish is beautiful. Gonna turn that up a little bit. Sorry about the dead air. You guys have a great holiday? I did. <laughs> Sorry, that's just my view. Uh, what I'm gonna do, excuse me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this with uh, a couple different flavors. I'm gonna do like a Mediterranean style thing. I'm gonna add uh, Kalamata olives, uh, baby heirloom tomatoes, some scallions, some capers, some garlic. And then uh, to finish it off, instead of using butter, I'm going to use my infamous lemon vinaigrette. See the way this is cooking up? It is uh, beautiful. Again, my pans are a little bit thicker, so I'm using a higher heat. Uh, if you're at home, basically what you want to do is you want to sear everything, keep the moisture inside the protein. Uh, the reason that I do flesh side down is because you've got a natural uh, backing on the skin side. So when you sear, all that moisture goes up to the skin. You turn it over to crisp the skin. Everything goes back down. You've already seared it. Uh, the juices are inside. Okay, to this. Now because of the uh, size of the fish, what we're going to do is we're going to add our garlic first. I'm going to add my diced tomatoes. I'm going to add my kalamata olives. Make sure they're seated. It really sucks biting into an olive fish, you know what I mean. I'm adding some capers. Stirring this around, basically what I'm going to do is I'm infusing everything with all these great flavors. Putting in some green onions. I'm going to turn this back. I want to get a little bit more color on that flesh side. You can smell that now, the fragrance is just fantastic. Right. 
At this point, if you wanted to, you could add butter. Uh, I grew up on butter. I cooked probably for the about first 15 years with butter. Uh, I decided that there are other alternatives, and I like different flavors. That's why I use my uh, lemon vinaigrette. That'll bring everything together. Beautiful. <laughs> this garnish, plate, fantastic flavors. A little more garlic on this one. And a little bit there. There you go. Local line called Cabrilla, coming out of uh, Baja. Chris Logan, Creative Flavors Catering, down here at and Offshore Products. The flavors are Kalamata Olive, Tomato, Garlic, a little bit of uh, caper, lemon vinaigrette. You guys have a great day. Thank you much.